What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to my Ocean Block Let's Play for episode 13. I, uh, I think it's time that we make some armor and, uh, and get ready to do a little bit of adventuring. I think that we're, we're pretty set here right now. You can see that I've started uh, enchanting some stuff because, uh, I was going to use some stuff that I can en enchant, but have now decided against that because, uh, I figured it would probably be better to just go straight into mystical agriculture's armor. Mainly because we have so much Inferium right now. We have 8,000. Which, uh, that's going to make a lot of the Tier 2 stuff, which is what I'm going to end up going to. And, honestly, uh, I, we're going to look at maybe upgrading our sword just to see where it's at. But, um, I don't think that we're going to hit the attack damage that we can with uh, mystical agriculture swords because their base sword which is super cheap for us <clears throat> is uh is eight attack damage which is already two above our current sword and even after adding one layer of sharpness uh which takes one of the upgrades here and a second which i'm not sure if that's it might take it up to eight I think I need more nether quartz is only going to take it to eight and we could do a couple of things like putting on a diamond because that's going to increase our durability, which I think honestly is a better move than putting more nether quartz. Um, we can even put on an emerald to increase that even farther. Um, or we can put on a first level of luck. Which, honestly, is probably the best part of this. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm just going to do this so, so we have an extra sword around. And then I'm going to change and put an extra... Or the change out the handle for a rose gold handle. Um, which is going to give us enhanced one, which gives us another upgrade right here on the right. There it is. And let's see. Um, we're doing pretty good on nether quartz honestly which i'm pretty happy about so yeah we could get to nine attack damage on it and then we should be able to get it to 10 yeah so we got it to 10 which is not bad uh we need another ability slot i don't think i've put a music disc on this i haven't so that just gives us an upgrade not an ability slot um if you guys want to know what you could put on these Tinker Swords, um, you could just hit U on whatever weapon it is and go to the second tab here for the modifiers. And you can see all the different things that you can do with it. So I did one tier of luck, which takes a ability slot. Um, but it looks like the second tier of it actually doesn't take a modifier. So we might actually do that. And Rose Gold. I don't think we have a name tag. Can we make name tags? We can't. At least not without like Batania. If we have Batania going. Um, we could get one. <clears throat> honestly, there's a lot of conversions with Batania that are <laughs> really nice. Honestly. Uh, so if we do that. And then what was the second tier of luck? Was uh, two gold and a golden carrot. So two gold. Uh, we don't have a golden carrot. Interesting. Uh, I don't think that we have any golden nuggets either. Golden carrot and then two. Nope. Uh, Ender pearls. <laughs> how about another Ender pearl? <laughs> And then how about Dwight doesn't right click with an Ender Pearl? There it is. And now we have two things of luck here. Not bad. And I think, yeah, look at that. Wait. Ooh. Very nice. And we have a rabbit's foot, which is typically the hardest part of uh, the last one here. But I guess, yeah. Oh, right. The name tag. Though. Yeah. 
Okay, well, you know, we could get the last one if we can. Um, but if not, that's perfectly fine. Put these guys away. So that's our sword now. It does 10 attack damage. It has a little bit more durability. Uh, actually, we could we could take up that upgrade slot and take our dura durability up a little bit more. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Um, which is not bad. You know, 1.8 attack speed is a little bit faster. It has a little bit more illager damage. Really not bad. Like, it's a good sword. Uh, and it has two things of lucky on it, so maybe it's not so bad. But, uh, I still think that the mystical agriculture swords, uh, surpass it pretty quick. Like, tertium here. I know that the producium, because I tested it in my creative world, with sharpness 4 on it, I believe. Or it could be 5. Gets about 13 attack damage, uh, which is the same as just the tertium one, so... You might as well just go to this one because honestly, this isn't that much more expensive than the last here. Um, because you just need uh, two of these bars here and then two of these gems there. And you don't have to go all the way down the, the chain. You just go from prosperity, whatever, ingot or gemstone straight to that tier. Um, and it's just this sword that you need for the middle. But yeah, 17 attack damage. And then the top one, Supremium's 24. And then you can add um, augments to them as well. So just something to keep in mind, I think. Uh, I think we'll, we'll go with this sword for now. Uh, honestly, if they had bows, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, that's okay. Um... Can I do that? Yeah, I can. So what we're going to be doing is making um, Producium armor because it is way better than diamond. Uh, although we can't enchant it, we can put augments in it. So like the absorption augment, which we could totally do. I think we for since this is tier two, we can do the tier two version of it, um, which, you know, pretty cheap for us. Golden Apple, we can totally handle that. Uh, I would like to do health boost, but we we need two Wither Skull Skeleton Skulls. So we'll have to go try our luck, uh, basically. And I think those are the only two armor. Yeah, those are the only two armor upgrades that we can do. So basically we can throw absorption on them and that's about it. That being said, I think that's going to be more than enough for us right now. Uh, we have a fairly decent bow. Uh, I combined a bunch of bow enchants to get power four and unbreaking two, so that's going to do us just fine. We got about three stacks of arrows in here. Uh, I'm also bringing cardboard boxes, which are great because if we find a spawner, we can take it with us. Uh, cardboard boxes, you can throw over any entity that has like contents in it. Really, I think almost any entity, period. Um, and it'll let you break it and pick it up without um, without uh, losing the block. And then you can just place it somewhere else. So we're going to take those with us. We have our mob imprisonment tool as well. Not quite sure what we're going to use for that. Because um, we do have a spawner. We have, well, we don't have experience anymore. But we can easily get experience again. So I don't know really what we want to spawn. If we want to spawn Wither Skeletons or Blazes. Uh, I don't think that we can create another mob imprisonment tool right now because we don't have plastic. Uh, there you are. Yeah, we don't have plastic. We also don't have a ghast here. That's another thing that's on our list. So I don't know. Uh, oh, I also think that we can wear our magnet again. Because I don't think that we're going to be pulling these items. That's the only reason I haven't been wearing it is because I'm nervous about this guy, which, oh, he's finally out. Great. So I, I ended up extending this. That way we can have multiple going through here. And I was going to break this guy who got sucked up into here. Yep. So that, that hopper is much better than, uh, than my, my own magnet. Uh, I was going to do this so we can start again with gravel, dirt, and sand, and then get back to doing sand uh, because that's where we get prosperity shards. 
Uh, so we'll just do this, right? Oh, there you go. See, it keeps pulling the wrong cobble. See how it's pulling like the double compressed stuff? And that's just going to drain. Yeah, that's that's killing our cobble there. Uh, so I'm going to let that be. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> and hopefully we'll get um, prosperity shards again. So back to this. Uh, a couple things from the last episode too. I started doing the auto crafting for this because I immediately got tired of it. It's crazy easy to do. First off, you put an importer from refined storage on the bottom of this. Um, and then you tell it to whitelist. You got to make sure it's set to whitelist. Uh, basically the recipes that you want or, or the, the outputs that you want. So these are all the things that can go through there. And then inside of your crafter thing here, you make sure it's facing towards this. Uh, you put in the patterns. So for energized steel, it's one iron, one gold. And then you wait for two energized steel. The trick was it with this guy is that you need to set it to redstone pulse inserts next set. Otherwise it'll just shove 10 gold, 10 iron in here and it won't craft properly. And then you have a comparator to basically just send a redstone pulse. Once it hits two items in there, it'll be uh, strong enough to shut it off. Uh, I haven't tried it. Well, actually I did do these guys. So it works with three items as well. Um, it's fast enough where it shoves them in before the pulse hits it because of the repeater here. It slows it down a little bit, but the third item gets in and it shuts it off and it works. Uh, I then put another crafter back here for, um, for just regular old recipes. And you can see I've added a bunch of, um, mystical agriculture stuff just so it's easier for us and a couple of speed upgrades. Um, this thing works just as easy. I mean, you're, you're going to see me making tons of patterns, but you make a pattern grid like this. You throw in patterns over in this corner. You tell it what recipe you want it to do, like oak slabs. And it just puts in an image of it here. You create it. And then that's your, that's your recipe for oak slabs. And to wipe it, you just shift right click and it go, it clears it. And you can reuse that pattern. So <clears throat> what we need to do, we need to do a full set of diamond armor, uh, which <laughs> another thing, uh, I made a couple of diamond plants because I knew we were going to need a lot of diamonds and I was tired of sifting for them. So I made a couple of diamond plants and now our whole row here is, is filled, which now makes me want to do a second row. And, uh, cause we're, we're going to need more. Uh, all right, so diamond armor. Um, and this diamond armor is the base of our new armor. And I've, I've tested on if you can enchant these beforehand. That's why I had that protection four on, on me. Uh, it does not carry over. So it's wait, it's a, it's a waste to enchant these beforehand. And each enchant or each crafting thing is basically just that pattern with all of them. And the same thing happens when you look up hashtag armor. Uh, the next tier is the same thing, but with the last tier and then the next tier. Easy. So we need uh, eight of these and eight of those, which I've already made. There they are. And then if we look up mystical agriculture, we can try to ask for eight of these. Uh, this should be fine. It should figure it. Oh, I can't even click start. I don't need 13. <laughs> I think it wants to do multiple at a time. I don't really know how to fix that. So maybe, maybe what we asked for. 19 what you literally just did it for me with this 
Oh, because this is the first here. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good because <laughs> this was supposed to save me a lot of time. Hmm. I don't know how to solve this. I don't know. I don't know how to put that into a pattern to where you can you can make these like this. Maybe if we don't make it exact. And we take out this one, put in our new one. Doesn't have to be in the same spot. Just happened to be that way. Uh, craft me. Very interesting. Huh. Okay, I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to automate that process a little bit better because uh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. At least when we do it like this, we can just keep hitting shift click and pulling these out. Um, because that's just, that's just nice to be able to do that. Uh, but okay. So we need, we do need eight of these, which we can ask for and eight of those because that is just these guys like that and those guys like that. And then we could just upgrade this guy, that guy. Honestly, we could probably take this to Supremium. Supremium. I mean, I guess we did just use a thousand Inferium, but we did. We made two hundred extra of this that we but that we didn't need necessarily. Like, what's it gonna cost us to fifty six? Uh, 16 of those, 16 of that. Oh, see, we're low, low on diamonds, diamundos. I'll just use all those. 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I don't need to count it. It's right there. Okay, so it turns out uh, going all the way to Supremium, we could do it, but it's going to take a lot of effort. And I, you know, I like just making all of this stuff. And I made all of this uh, Imperium, so we're just going to use that instead. Uh, oops. Because uh, I I still maintain that this is going to be so much better than if we were to go in with anything else. And it opens up a lot more of the buffs that we can make as well. Look at that. We're blue. <laughs> we don't get anything like right off the bat with it, but we do have so much armor and so much toughness right now, which is incredible. It won't prevent us from being on fire. Uh, I was going to make potions, but you need a blaze rod. Need a blaze rod. I don't have a way of getting a blaze rod easily. And there's no easy way of making blaze powder into blaze rods. Um, without, uh, from what I've noticed, um, making some sort of metal press from immersive engineering and using a rod mold through there. And oh man, I just, I, this is like a whole thing and I just, I don't want to do it. I think just going to the nether is going to be easier because I think that we're going to be able to handle it fairly well. Um, although I wouldn't mind some absorption stuff on here. Uh, we also need to create our paintings. Because that's how we get to the nether. We need low temp. And low temp for this as well. Okay. 
So if we just get ourselves one of our jars and uh, we'll just put a torch down for it. That'll give us our low temp. And the overworld one is just dirt, some logs, and a painting. We're going to need two of these paintings. Uh, and dirt. How much dirt? Four and four. Got it. And log. Incredible. And then we'll just have that go. Uh, and, oh shit, wait. You don't have... I think we could just take it out of here. Ah, oh, oh, it just spits it out. I, th I thought you had to have a chest attached to it. And then the nether one, uh, we actually need some nether rack. I think I got rid of all our nether rack. Didn't I, uh, didn't I crush it all up? Oh, are you serious? Heck yeah. All right. Great. Fantastic. And four obsidian. Easy. <clears throat> we have obsidian. Wonderful. And there we go. We'll make our nether painting. So now we're ready, uh, at least to enter it. If we're actually ready, I have no idea. We'll need... Uh, an obsidian boat as well. And I wouldn't mind a... Um, what is it called? Construction gadget? Building gadget. Because <clears throat> that's crazy, crazy handy to have uh, in another. So building gadget is basically just a fancy remote where you can just tell it like, hey, I have all these materials. Um, place them here, basically. And that's an achievement, fantastic. Charge that baby up. Uh, so if we go and grab like, what do we have a lot of in here? Well, we don't have a lot of cobblestone in here, but this'll do. So grab this guy. And we shift right click, that chooses cobblestone as our block. If we wanted a different block, we could choose any other block, but we don't have any smooth stone on us right now. And now, uh, wherever we look, we can build a bridge of cobblestone right to us. And it pulls it right out of our inventory. We can hit U to undo it. And then if we, I believe, either shift right click, uh, shift G, that's what I've changed it to, you can change the, the, the pattern of it. <clears throat> so surface is probably what we're going to use there because it's a bunch of lava and we're going to change it to fuzzy that way it puts it on basically everything and um, we're also going to change the range to I don't know we'll do like five and uh, it looks like it, it shows smooth stone again so we'll go out here choose cobble uh, oh wait actually ray chase fluid there we go and maybe not fuzzy? Ray trace. Oh, place on top. Yeah, we want to get rid of that. Um, so now if we click on this, especially in the lava, we've created ourselves a platform. And we can make it a, like a long bridge if we wanted to or a staircase or whatever. So this is going to be so, so handy. And now we've created... Oh, okay, great. Fixed it. I was going to say, now we created all a crater. Uh, okay, so before we go, oh man, this episode is going to end before this, so let me get all the things to make these absorption upgrades, and then we'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> and we're back. I just went through three tiers of this augment because I had to do this three different times, but it's basically this. Place down your augment there, and the three, th or the, the items that you need. For the tier like that, boom, that's it. <clears throat> and uh, I, ooh, I should probably actually <laughs> look up how you even use these. Uh, I think you can just combine them. I think. Might have to look into that. Uh, the other one I noticed at tier four, I get mining fatigue resistance, which honestly, kind of dope. So we're gonna put this in, which is. Two golden pickaxes, two gold bars. 
and an empty augment. There we go. And boom, there we go. Great. So we got two tier four things that we can put inside of our armor. I think I might be able to put an absorption tier four in each one of these. I'm just going to put in one for now. And uh, yeah, that took uh, that took some time. We we absolutely need more Inferium because we burned through 3,000 of it just that quick. So uh, let's see. So if we look up at Mr. Cole, do you have like a workbench or something? I think it's this. Yeah, the tinkering table. That's what I need to make. There we go. And we'll just put this guy... <laughs> I don't know. Here. There we go. Uh, and then we'll put it in our... I guess our chest piece? Because why not? Absorption 4, right? Is that how this works? No? What about mining fatigue? No? How do you work? Tell me your secrets. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. So apparently you just put it in, yeah, and you just take it out. That's it. There's only one slot. I don't know why there isn't more, but there's only one. So I guess, uh, you know what? I don't know where to put our mining fatigue one, so I'll just put it in the helmet for now. Hopefully, yeah, I could take it out. Um, <clears throat> So there we go. If we throw that on, we now have Absorption 4. And look at all of our extra hearts that we have. So uh, anyways, I think I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. Uh, I think I've done a lot more preparing than I probably need to. Uh, let's see. We can even probably make a couple more meat mountains. I think I have some in my backpack, but, you know. Meat mountain... Fantastic. Uh, we have our building gadget. We have our torches. We have our cardboard boxes. We don't need our time in a bottle. We can leave that here. Um, I've been thinking about maybe taking the solarium dagger with us. I, I've been playing around with this, trying to learn. I forgot to tell you guys. But you do have to kill stuff while holding a soul jar to get that soul. And what I was trying to do is upgrade it to the next tier of it here where it's hostile attuned because apparently this grants additional souls from hostile creatures uh, but you need skeleton zombie spider and creeper I have all of them except for spider uh, I went and ran my farm for a little bit and that's the only one I don't have um, so I'm thinking maybe we'll bring that it only has nine attack damage but I just have to get the killing blow with it um, and because we need it for actually you know what if I capture them I don't need it if I capture a blaze I can spawn them and we can just kill them that way I don't think we need this right now I think we need to come up with a plan first and then we can do it um, and yeah I think that I think we're good um, take out our bow and some arrows the only problem is, if we die, I really don't have a way, and we have our ender pouch, which is already set up to import directly into our system, so we can bring stuff back if we need to. Uh, yeah, I really don't have a plan for if this fails, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, Alright, so where do we place this? I don't really want to place it on a wall in here because I've been digging out holes. Um, so... And we have to walk into it. Hmm. Darn. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe we just do it and then that's just our nether portal wall. Uh, let's see. We'll do it over here. Because I'm, I'm probably not going to put a whole lot behind this wall because there's already a bunch of stuff here. And my magnet still keeps pulling it. Yeah, look how big that is. Uh, all right, we have a decent amount of cobble on us. I'm just going to take two stacks of compressed in case we need more. We can just make more. 
And uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, okay. Jump into it, surrounded by glass. Okay, Ac ooh, actually we're right in a dome. This is perfect. Okay, awesome. Um, so what we're gonna do is bust out this window here. And we're going to give ourselves a little platform. We're gonna put down our little obsidian boat, which works in the lava. And we're going to create a waypoint, something I, I saw Dyer never did. Home. Oh and then we gotta put down our overworld painting here because. Uh, build to me. I think it's actually bigger than this wall, so we need to. Sworn that worked. That's okay. There we go. All right. So we can go home. Great. We already got a bunch of. Uh... See, this is this is the benefit of having this. So we already have a, a bridge going over that way, right? Um... In fact, why don't we try to get hit really quick? Us really quick. Okay. So we we do we get we take a little bit of fire damage. They they seem to actually do a decent amount of damage. More damage than I thought it was gonna be. Uh oh hi sir. You're gonna come over here? Hmm, see I'm gonna need you to Can I can I make this work? <laughs> okay, so I blocked him. Oh, did I? Yep. Alright, so we blocked all that, which is great. Okay, fantastic. I, I think I think this is this is an okay plan. I think it's okay to be cautious. Uh, what are we doing? Maybe we do that. Yeah, there we go. This guy's still stuck under there. That's okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay, we got our magnet on. Trying to maximize our platform here. Okay, so this is actually. I got a better idea. I need to back away. <laughs> we got a friend there. He's not super happy with us. That's fine. So we're going to throw a cardboard box on the spawner. That's going to stop him from spawning. At least this bottom one here. I clicked it on the, the torch. There it is. 
Okay, we got that one. Let's go back. We'll recover. Got to tr trust in the meat mountains, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. We're also going to change this to stairs. We're going to click up here, right? We're going to get up there and we're going to throw a box on that guy. All right, great. So now they won't spawn anymore. Get dodged. Give me those. Beautiful. Fantastic. And just like that. And then we could just right click that to make that back into a torch. And uh, yeah, I feel pretty confident about that run. So uh, now we have access. This this is really good luck, I think, for us to get one of these domes right from the get go. Because now, whoop, now we could turn this into our nether base. And we have a base of operations. See, see there we go. I'm, I'm also out of uh, cobble. Goes by quick, you know. I also kind of, you know what? Why don't we just change this to straight up surface? And we'll just. We'll just replace all of it. We don't need the inside of this to be lava. Could make the radius bigger, but that's fine. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, we got 11 blaze rods out of that. Not bad. We got 12 necrotic bones, which we don't, as far as I'm aware, we don't really use it for anything. We use it for severing, potentially blast heads or other parts of the mobs right off. That's actually fucking sick. <laughs> okay, uh, whatever. I take back what I said. <laughs> Um, so let's open these guys up because these are supposed to be rare. Soul Lantern. Okay, those are cool. Well, I guess maybe not rare, but they're only in the nether. Got some mana diamonds, another music disc, some compressed cobble, a stone sword. Get rid of that. Um, not awful. Get rid of this stuff. And now we can take this guy, break him, and now we have a mob spawner inside of a box. Break a small crate. We got, what, sandstone from that? Sick. Look at that guy. He's just enjoying his best life out there. Hey. <laughs> okay. Whatever. And up here we have a wither skeleton spawner that we could just take. And there it is. Now we have access to both of those mobs to, uh, I don't know, an infinite degree. Excuse me, sir. Do you want to come up? Oh, I know. You're very angry. Come on, float up. We got the rods. Beautiful. Uh, so now we got a, uh, a nice base of operations. These guys are going to be mad at us? No, the other ones will be. Um, actually, I got a, I think I got a cure for this. I think if we light the place up, they won't spawn. So if we change all of these areas here, and all we got to do is just let our feral lantern light it up. That's why I always bring a couple of those with me. But uh, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Kind of a longer one, but we did a lot. So 
um, I'm going to clear this out and kind of make a little sanctuary for me here. Uh, not really sure what I'm going to do, but I'll try to do something. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you for the next one.